Stop moving. There we go. Hola, muchachos. Senor Hale spun here uh, with some Hot Wheels. And I know a lot of you guys hate the fact that uh, I've been doing so much Hot Wheels stuff lately. But, unfortunately, Sideshow has not been making me very proud. Uh, and there hasn't been very much good stuff coming out. Um, I got a lot of stuff I'm waiting for, like a General Grievous 1-6 scale figure from Sideshow Collectibles that they announced over a year ago and have yet to ever mention again. Um, that's just for starters. Uh, <laughs> and then I got a bunch of stuff that uh, they keep moving uh, flex payments back on, like the Boba Fett 1-6 scale figure, the Iron Man Mark 1 2.0, um, all sorts of good stuff. So, there will be more to see on the high-end collectibles uh, front from me, hopefully soon, uh, but that all depends on Sideshow. So, uh, that being said, uh, the only thing keeping me sane right now is Hot Wheels. And without further ado, I got some new stuff. Uh, one of the first things that I got from my friend Hooday Bangles, he went and picked this up for me. It's the uh, Hot Ones Plymouth Arrow Funny Car. And uh, go ahead and crack this sucker open. Take a look what's inside. I've always wanted to open this car. I see it on the pegs, and I want to open them right there in the store. And then just not take anything, just leave the car. Um, okay. Oh, uh, there's plastic hold on yeah these things are like held down with a little plastic rubber band there we go feed me Seymour a little Plymouth Arrow funny car action going on right there so really cool little car rolls nice uh, also got the new K case Camaro crack this sucker open There's a very nice 69 convertible Camaro with a paint job very similar to a certain IROC Z28 that I know. So that is that. Uh, also picked up for my 2012 set the Hearst Olds 442 that I did not have yet. Picked up the 74 Torino which, if I'm not mistaken, finishes off the logo cars for this year. There might be one more that I'm missing. I don't know for sure, but there is that. I'm going to buy a few more of these because I really want to customize these things. Um, I love this car. I love this body style. So I'd like to do a couple customs of those, which will be coming very soon. Um, finally got the whole house cleaned up. And that's part of why I've been so far behind and kind of down in the dumps. I just never can seem to get caught up with chores. You know, I finally got the rear tire fixed on my motorcycle. The house is clean. I'm starting to get stuff on eBay like I'm supposed to. Um, you know, everything's finally starting to get caught up. So I'll be able to focus now on things other than responsibilities. Um, like get my RAOKs out. Mextalicat and TF Collectors have been the two most patient men I think I've ever met in my life. Um, I owed uh, Mextalicat and, and Mario uh, some things for a trade, and then of course RAOKs, which I always include. Um, but they, they've been waiting for these packages for like a month and a half, and I just have been so swamped with stuff and, you know, lack of you know, funds at certain times and all sorts of stuff that I just have not gotten these freaking boxes out to these guys. And I feel like a scumbag. Um, and I'm finally going to do that uh, this weekend. So uh, it, it'll be, you guys will have tracking numbers no later than Friday, tomorrow night. Um, I just got it. I'm, I'm actually, as soon as I'm done with this video, I'm going to go right over there and start getting everything packed up. I got a big box of stuff uh, that I'm going to start splitting up between the two packages and, uh, get everybody taken care of uh, nice and good but anyways those are coming I promise and chap has two boxes two big old 
freaking honking boxes full of awesome uh, that will be going out tomorrow. I'll have the tracking information for you, Sir Chap, um, tonight, uh, texted to your phone. And Mextalicant and Mario will have yours tomorrow uh, texted to your phones. So, and then after that, I got a small RAOK for Heathkin. Uh, I got to get something together for Ray Markable. Uh, Mr. Dizave, I owe him some freaking IROCs that I've got sitting on my table. I just haven't gotten packed up and sent out. Uh, and I'll throw a few extra things in there for you too. So I did not forget about anybody. I promise I will take care of you. Uh, and thank you for your patience. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Um, but the Mad mad Manga, Mad Manga, went ahead and picked that. I got two of them. I thought this car was cool. This car's been getting a lot of bad hype. A lot of people say it's stupid. They don't like the way it looks, whatever. Um, I think it's cool. I think it's really neat, actually. I mean, it's kind of out there, but it's definitely something different. It's definitely something other than your normal car that you're used to seeing every day. So, pretty cool. Um, now, here's one thing that I find very interesting. You see all this down here at the bottom, like this flat like body kit that's sticking out on the sides right here, right here. If you look at the bottom, that's all plastic, and then the metal body is on top of that. So I'm wondering what a custom would look like if somebody were to cut all this excess off and just have the metal body. I'm thinking it would be pretty cool. I'm thinking you guys might see something like that soon. So we shall see. Uh, there's another 69 Camaro, which I kept mint on card for my 2012 set. Lamborghini Gallardo. So, right there. Crack this sucker open. Got two of those. One to crack. Awesome little car. Thank you, Peanut Gallery. Thank you, Peanut Gallery. Really nice blue on that car. Really, really spiffy. I like that a lot. Uh, also got the new BMW Z4M right there for the set there's the other mint mad manga for the set uh, same thing with the Gallardo Gallardo whatever you want to call it I uh, picked up the fast felion for 2012 and the solar reflex for 2012 a lot of these I got in a trade with mr. Joe Brown uh, off of the uh, Facebook page uh, so if anybody knows him, he's a great guy, definitely cool to trade with, uh, feel free. Got another BMW to crack. And there's that wonderful little nugget of die-cast joy, which I just totally biffed right there. Uh, and I think, I think, I think, I think, uh, I'm going to keep this over here until I know for sure that I got two uh, and then this one's awesome. I need to get a second one of these, but the Invader. Dun, 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 dun. If anybody's a Prodigy fan, they'll know that. Uh, here is the Rocket Fire. Right there. Uh, here's one that I couldn't, I just found today in a Dollar Tree. The Mitsubishi Payero. Uh, I didn't have that one yet, so I picked that up. Uh, I just found this one today, the Judge, I like that color, I don't know why I didn't get it when I saw it the first time. Oh, here's my Grant Torino, in the package still. And then this, I actually found today for Mr. Mario, TF Collectors, right there, Hot Wheels banner car, uh, black, 67 Pontiac GTO. He said he couldn't find any of the banner cars, so bam, there it is. That'll be going in your package tonight, sir, uh, as I pack everything up. Uh, these are all ac acquired in trades. These, I believe, are the L case cars. Um, the Dodge Charger stock car, right there. Joe Brown hooked me up with these. I believe this is another L case car, the 458 Spider Ferrari. That's a sweet car. I definitely need a second one of those to correct. Uh, another repaint of the Me Gain Trophy, which I think that red is awesome. Uh, here is one called the Synchro. Pretty cool little car. Uh, found this one the other day. Just really like this car a lot. 67 Pioneer Firebird 400 in gray. So I went ahead and picked that one up. Uh, here's another one for the K case. Mega Duty. Right now. For 2012 set. Uh, I know for a fact I have two of these. Red Holly. Repaint, but whatever. I'm a motorcycle guy, so crack open this baby. 
Come on, come out of your little protective shell. Come on. Yeah. Play. There we go. Front fender needs to be painted. That looks stupid being chrome. Dude, I'm dropping everything today. Uh, here is the Nissan 350Z. Put it there. Uh, oh, 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 avalanche. Here is a uh, Sweet Streets short card. I hate short cards. Package is all jacked up. Ugh. So we'll go ahead and open this puppy up. I just thought it was a cool casting. It's an older one. I just found it on the peg. Somebody must have returned it. But uh, Sweet Streets right there. It's funny because it's called Sweet Streets, but it's actually a uh, uh, like a grill, like a burger truck. Uh, here is another one that I found on the pegs that's an older one from 2011. The power panel. thought that was pretty cool, so I went ahead and picked that up. Um, but up, 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 another Camaro right there. Um, and in honor of Mr. Carol Shelby. I'm going to have to pick this one up. Beautiful little Shelby Cobra. Opening hood. So, really nice car. Check that out. So, I went ahead and picked that up. Um, I believe this is another L case car. It's a really cool looking twin duction. I love the paint job on that. Really cool. I don't know why I like that car so much, but I do. Uh, here, I believe, is another L case car. The Dirty Outlaw. Right there. Another L case car. Split Vision, I believe. Right there. Uh, I believe this is an L case car, too. The Mitsubishi 2008 Lancer Evo. In blue. Uh, here's a K case car. The 8 Crate. Uh, another Harley. Mint on card. Woo! I did get two. I got two Twin Mill 3s. So we will open doesn't matter really. Let's open this one. Open the twin meal. Come on, get out of there. I'm not biting it like Poo Chef Nairobi does. There we go. Twin meal three. Red with yellow flames. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Cool car. Uh, and then last but not least, I found this on the pigs. A, uh, another 57 Chevy right there so white um, <clears throat> I found some awesome uh, matchboxes I'm gonna make this quick if I'm gonna sneak it in under 15 minutes this is the way matchbox should be look at these cars look at the detail if matchbox still made cars like this Mercedes SLK Audi R8 and the Ford GT40 if matchbox still made cars like that I guarantee you They'd be selling a whole lot more cars. Uh, found this at Walmart last night. Really hard to find, apparently. Uh, 3.75 inch um, Avengers Hawkeye. Found two of them, actually. One is mine, and the other one is already in Chap's box and will be headed to New York to him soon. I uh, got this in the uh, damage sale place at Disney for $3, Commander Cody. Um, <laughs> and you guys are going to hate me for this. But, um, I was given this by a friend, uh, Hude Bangles. I was, found this in Walmart today. I found this in Walmart today. And I found this in Walmart a little while ago, but it's all gnarled up. It looked like somebody tried to stick it in their pocket. So... Oh, yes. We's opening a treasure hunt. Chevy Malibu. Come on. Get out of there. Get, 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 get. There we go. And there is a sweet, sweet Chevy Malibu treasure hunt that has been set free because someone screwed up the box. So, uh, last but not least, you guys are going to hate me even more. Uh, ordered one online and found one in the store. So, ended up finding one on the pegs, and the other one came from eBasils. So, I ended up hitting it pretty 
pretty good today and over the last couple of weeks. So anyways, like I said, that's just some stuff that I found over quite a long period of time. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy, but that's the stuff that you'll be finding in the stores now or soon.